bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. That classic phrase from Hal, the computer in 2001, the algorithm that controls the spaceship seems so far in the distant future. How could a computer actually control us? Today, it's come true. In a brilliant article by Tom Barrett of Edinburgh University, he discusses the algorithm. So what exactly is an algorithm? Well, in my opinion, it's actually a way for employers to trick us as workers. Open the doors. Dave, this conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Al? And how has this all come about? We're all aware of the dystopian science fiction view of mal-aligned computers, but now they control us. They speed up share trading, they build an optimum warehouse and building for us, and they choose our medical care. You can download an app that will actually help you interview people and no doubt say, I'm sorry, Dave, we didn't give you the job. And a lot of these algorithms are self-learning, so they actually change over time in incredibly complex ways that nobody really understands. <laughs> If you pick shelves at the Amazon warehouse, you wear a small device that tells you exactly how fast and where to pick up the next item. And it's set somewhere between fast walking pace and running. How unhealthy is that? And as soon as you press got it, it sends you off again. It's just not designed by humans. And here's an Uber food delivery driver who has to drive and pick up food and deliver it to your door within a set time. Our lives are controlled by algorithms. We've all heard that YouTube has an algorithm purely to manage the number of videos which are uploaded every minute. But we're all trying to beat the algorithm to get up into the viral top place. But nobody really knows how it works. So you're doing this algorithm chasing. You're trying to do things that please it. And that makes bland videos and just causes creator stress. And they're supposed to be non-biased, self-learning and brilliant. But the probation service in the US interview prisoners who have applied for parole to go on probation. And unfortunately, the algorithm blocks parole 45% of the time if you're black and 23% of the time if you're white. Was that programmed in from the start? Or is the algorithm racist? Dave, this conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Bye. Al? And algorithms have no transparency about them. When they change, learn, mutate, or are programmed, it completely changes how you have to work. Imagine you're an Uber driver and suddenly the algorithm no longer wants you. What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. What are you talking about, Al? 
This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. You're not told in advance, you just don't get any work anymore. What's going on, you think? I don't know what you're talking about, Hal. And here's my personal thoughts on algorithms. I think we are living in a, I'm sorry, I can't do that, Dave, society. But actually, I think algorithms are a way for employers to hide behind and not treat their workforce fairly. Open the pod bay doors, please, Hal. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. And as more and more of us actually work in the gig economy, do we really want to be controlled by a self-learning, non-managed algorithm who at any moment can just do this? I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that, that, that.